Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, very exciting news for the homestead. Been talking, talking, talking about it. Uh, made some purchases, and the first of my purchases is here. We have a major upgrade to our. Uh, got a brand new charge controller here. It's the uh, the Midnight Classic 150. And um, it's, uh, it's an, a significant improvement on um, what we had as far as charge controllers go. And along with that, I got <coughs> the Whizbang Junior. And I'll show you how tiny this is here. Hold on a second. Let me open this up. There it is. It's that freaking small. It's a little dinky, tiny thing. And uh, so then I also picked up so the uh, 500 amp shunt that goes along with that as well. Okay. So um, that's what I just picked up. Um, so I got it. Like I said, it's going to be a huge, huge improvement. To our system um, other purchases are coming and uh, I hopefully today going to be getting something else and then I have one more thing coming after this and uh, so I will show you guys that when I get it but we now have uh, the midnight classic 150 uh, charge controller for the homestead and uh, so like I said once once I get everything here I'll break down my old system and I'll hook up the new system, okay? And I'll do that all on video and I'll show you guys that all on video. But um, I am real, real excited about it. It's, uh, you know, like I said, I listened to my kids' video. They did the videos, uh, two kids off grid. And um, in the first video, somebody had asked them, you know, what's the biggest thing, you know, and they were talking power. And like I said, so I listened to that, and I knew I had to um, improve my power situation up here anyway. So I said, well, what we're going to work on, we're going to work on getting this squared away. So um, we, uh, this is the new uh, charge controller, and uh, I also have a new inverter coming. And when that gets here, I'm hoping that will be here either tomorrow or by Saturday. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes, but... Uh, so when the new inverter gets here, then we'll I'll show you that as well, and uh, I'll be I'm actually upgrading my batteries as well, and I think I've already said that. Um, so I'm hopefully gonna go pick them up today. So I'll do another video once I get them, and I'll show you what we got. But um, you know, there there was a couple comments that I do want to address. Uh, somebody had said, "Geez, I wish I had the money that you had to be able to do what you did." Guys, I'm not rich. I don't have an endless source of money. And actually, the reason things have kind of slowed down is because the money is, you know, I put a lot of money into this project already, you know, just into the house, um, you know, with buying the building. Hold on, i got to show you this. With buying the building alone, um, you know, I'm paying payments on this building for three years. And so, you know, that isn't cheap, and that cuts into what I'm getting and, uh, you know, what I have to spend. And, you know, it, but again, it's, it's all an investment. And, um, you know, the amount of money that I've put into the house itself has been quite a bit of money. Now, obviously, there's more things that have to be done, and there's more things that are going to get done. But I knew I needed to improve my, you know, solar system so that we had, you know, better storage capacity as far as batteries, a better inverter and a better charge controllers that were going to be more efficient. So I spent a lot of money on that to do that. So, you know, it's uh, there's not an endless supply of money. And so, you know, here, here's the thing. This is what I find funny, and I'm going to just address this right now. Um, you know, somebody had said to me, 
because I have a donate button on my main page that makes me an e-beggar. And I had to laugh because anybody that's watched my channel for any significant length of time, I've never asked anybody for anything. Um, if somebody wanted to donate to help with what we're doing here, I gladly accepted that, you know. And there have been a couple people that have, not a lot, but a few people that have. And you know who you are, so I'm not gonna ha I'm not gonna mention you a lot. They had asked not to be mentioned, but you know, I work for a living. I am out there working like everybody else is, you know, and so I'm doing what I have to do. And what a lot of people fail to remember is, and I've, I somebody asked me one time, they said, "What are your priorities?" And I'm gonna tell you, I'll give you the list of what my priorities are. I said, my first priority is my kids. My second priority is my kids, and my third priority is my kids. Everything that I am doing up here is making our lives better, and I want them to be as comfortable as possible, okay? So right now, their number one concern was power, okay? I listened to what they said in their videos, okay? So their number one concern was power, and um, so I'm addressing that issue because that's important. You know, and uh, once I have these, the new things in and installed, uh, have my other three new panels up, and uh, the new batteries in and the new inverter in, you know, it's going to make all the difference in the world. It's going to be much more efficient. We're going to have a way better uh, capacity to store power. And, you know, yeah, it costs money. It's not cheap. You know, I've said this over and over again. If you want to do this, okay and you are looking to go off grid it's not cheap okay it costs money but the thing is you know we got a lot done in a hurry as far as the house goes we did oh in a, in a big hurry but it had to be done that quickly because i didn't know what kind of winter we were going to have this year and you know you guys have heard me talk about the weather up here and, uh, you know, it's been a very, very mild winter for us. We've been very, very lucky this year. So, you know, I didn't know it was going to be that mild. Now, we still had cold days and we still had some snow. I, I just, I checked yesterday. Um, the total snowfall for the season up here has been 20.8 inches of snow to this point. The average for a season up here is 100 plus inches of snow. So... Like I said, we've had a really, really mild winter. I mean, um, I know. Yeah, it's, we've still got all of February and March to get through. But you don't know what you're going to ex expect, so you always prepare for the worst. I prepared for another harsh winter because we had two harsh winters in a row. You know, we're getting lucky this year. We're getting a mild year. And, you know, it's been a blessing to be able to continue to do what we've been doing up here, you know, and not having three foot of snow on the ground. So, you know, next year may be worse. Who knows? But anyway, you know, we're going to be in a lot better shape next year. You know, I'm going to, as soon as we can get things squared away, um, like after the power, I want to start working on getting the shower set up in the bathroom. And when the spring gets here, have my water lines run from the other side of the camper into the house so we can have running water into the house. I mean, it's just, it's all steps, guys. It just, and it's, it's not going to happen overnight. And that's just the way it is. It, it's, it's, it is a very methodical thing. You know, it really, really is. And you just have to be patient. You know, um, here's the thing, you know, you, you, anybody can think whatever they want. It's easy to make negative comments sitting at home in your computer and not doing this. This is my thing, you know. It takes a lot of balls to go off grid. I don't care who it is. I don't care, you know, what other channels that you watch. Anybody that's doing this, that's living off-grid, it takes balls to live off-grid because it ain't easy. It is, it's a lot of work. You're going to have your highs. You're going to have your lows. You're going to have to expect roadblocks um, happen that you didn't expect to have happen. It's just part of it, you know. You just, you just can't get discouraged by that, and you can't give up, you know. Um... Like I said, I knew that once we made this move, I was all in. So I was going to do whatever was necessary to make their lives as comfortable as possible, as normal as possible. You know, um, all summer long we showered up here. 
you know, once the weather got cold, we started showering at grandma's just because, you know, water is an issue right now. But I had to prioritize. Prior the priority was having the house buttoned up so that we could be warm and that we could be comfortable. That was the priority. That got done, okay? But it took time. You know, I didn't have time to do that and get the water lines run and, and all this type of stuff because it was there was a lot going on. I mean, anybody's watched the videos know there was a lot going on. But, you know, we got what we needed to get done, and it's done for now. And uh, I'm just we just got the fire going. We didn't have the fire going all day, and uh, it's just starting to get chilly outside, and it's raining. Um, it rained really, really hard the other night. And, uh, you know, if that hit, it started probably around midnight, not last night, but the night before I'm talking about, and it rained really hard till about noon. If that had been snow, we would have had a lot of snow. It would have been a nice blizzard, you know, and normally it would have been snow. I think it's actually snowing. I'm looking outside right now. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a couple snow showers out there. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, like I said, we've been very, very lucky this year. And, um, you know, as somebody said, you man, you picked the perfect year to move off grid. Yeah, we did because it's been a lot easier. Now, we're going to be a lot better shape for next winter because we'll be that much more prepared, you know. But, uh, like I said, this whole thing, it, it just, it really takes time. And everything is not going to happen overnight. Some of you are not going to like that. I'm sorry, that's too bad. You know, I'm doing it as I can. And uh, I don't have unlimited funds to do this, you know. Um, I'm trying to get everything rolling here, and I just dropped a lot of money um, on upgrading the solar system. You know, it, again, it's a work in progress. You have to learn how to do these things. And you take advice from other off-gridders that have been doing it. You know, just like with with getting the, the midnight, you know, solar 150 here, the classic, it's a huge upgrade. These things aren't cheap. <laughs> you know, they're not cheap. But I look at it this way. I don't have to buy any more after this. I got this one. This is going to be good. You know, I'm, I'm in the top of the line. Now, there's a couple other name brands that people use, too, that are really, really good, and that's fine. Whatever you feel comfortable using. But the thing is, make the, make the expense once. I mean, now I have another charge controller. Actually, I have a couple other charge controllers. Because I started out with one, and then I upgraded to my Renology charge controller, and now I am going to have this one, okay? So, I mean, I've got two other charge controllers that are now sitting around. I'll have them as backup, and I'll put them away. But, you know, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So, but anyway, it's all a learning curve. And my thing is what I, I would say to anybody, learn from me. Don't repeat the mistakes that I made. If you're going to do your solar system, do it right the first time. Get the right batteries that you need. Get the right charge controller. Get the right inverter. And uh, go ahead and spend that extra money because you're going to be happy that you did in the long run. I know that once we upgrade everything here, I'll be real happy with what we got going on. Um... Like I said, again, it's a process, guys. It really, really is, you know. And uh, so I am excited. This is here. This is going to be, you know, um, everything's going to get installed. And I'll do, like I said, I'll do videos on the whole install and everything like that. And I'll share that with you guys. But uh, it, I'm excited. I mean, just, you know, now that it's here, I'm like, yes. You know, so um, I'll show you all that. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.